What is poppin' fam? Spanik here, coach of your Reno Acerola. And we are here for ICBA Season 2, Week 2, against Equa and his Worcester Wall Reigns. I 100% am going to spell that name wrong in the title. I cannot spell Wall Reign to save my life. <laughs> anyway, we suffered a heartbreaking loss to Deebs and the Calgary Flame Wheels last week. In a 4-0 smackdown to start the season. I was playing, well, I was playing through that game a bit. I was, I was big time under the weather. I just came back from vacation. I was still kind of jet lagged from Hawaii. I was still under the weather at the time. I rushed the prep to get the game done and uploaded and all that. Because I know Deeb's had a busy weekend. He got married. So I rushed prep to try to get the game. I wasn't 100% for that game is what I'm trying to say. I know excuses, excuses, but... Deez has Deez was probably prepped for that game for ages, and I rushed prep when I came back from vacation. So, anyway, that week is behind us. We're moving on to week two against Equa and his and his scary ass team. But then again, this is the ICBA. Everyone has scary ass teams. So let's see his scary ass team. He could have brought Superior, Conkelder, Bishop, Sylveon, Galvantula, Porygon Two, Xbound, Gastrodon, Megalodios, Kabutops, and Magmordar. And at, going into this game, I was kind of, I was really afraid of a surprise back Mordor. Because that thing could have, that thing could have put in some work as a team. It could have been, a Scarf set could have been a nice answer to a Mega Metagross. Because I, I would have severe four slot syndrome with that thing. I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a surprise back Mordor come. But he didn't bring it. So, it's no big deal. Immediately, when I, his team does have the potential for webs. I didn't think he was gonna bring the webs because of the uh, because my team is fairly slow as it is, and most of my faster mons being Hydreigon, Landorus, you know, like being Hydreigon and Landorus, they do, they are immune to webs. And Metagross has clear body for Mega, so it's not gonna be affected by webs. But he did bring that Galvantula, but he didn't bring that Galvantula. So in game, I was kind of thinking he would be a more offensive set and not have sticky webs on it. But whatever. Okay, yeah. He did bring Gashadon, and I expected to. x was a surprise bring, but because of, because of x I kind of figured he might have webs on that. Bisharp, I kind of expected. That thing could really have some mind games with my, with my Metagross. Good really for a sucker punch mind games. Conkeldor, I really did ex Conkeldor, I expected to, because I could pick off Metagross. Metagross just has a field day against the team, though. And his Megalotti was also quite expected, but... It, yeah, his Megalotti is also quite expected, but... It was quite expected. I thought I kind of thought he was going to bring a DD set, but we'll see how he gets in the back. I thought immediately DD Megalotti though, because that could have put in some work against me. All right, so let's get into my team. I might I like to give a big shout out to our boys Sped Set, Sped Shed, and Jay, Sped Set and JTs for helping me prep for this week. And just a shout out to my entire front office in general, my server. There'll be a link to my server down below. If you're interested in joining, go right ahead. And it's just a place to chill and shit. We also have pictures of. I also have a chat for dog pics. So if you like dogs, if you like just chilling out with people, then just then you can join my server. Link will be in the description for that. Anyway, say anyway. Shout out to Jay and Spreadshed and my entire front office helping me prep for this week, as every week. So over here in this, over here in. This we're bringing against that guy. We're bringing a focus sash Terrakion. This thing was kind of this thing was supposed to be a suicide lead. As with my draft, I might be bringing suicide leads a little bit more often because all three of my rockers are offensive. I only have three rockers, being Landoi, Terrakion, and Metagross, and all three are offensive. So suicide lead Terrakion and Meta and Landoi might be coming more weeks than, mo than I would like to bring, but <clears throat> it is what it is, and we'll go from there. I have a Serena, which is it's just standard Fizz Def Serena with Rapid Spin. This was his fail safe in case he brought webs. Yeah, this was the fail safe in case he brought webs. If he brought webs, I could spin them away and just be able to still do work with Metagross if I'm Megad already. And, you know, things like that. Scarf Lando I, because even if he sets up webs, Scarf Lando I slot speeds his entire team. Arcanine, I don't want. To, Arcanine, I'm not revealing the set for because I think I have a rematch against him, and, Arca, and the Arcanine set didn't come to play this game, so I'm not going to reveal the set for it. And Lando, I, not Lando, I, uh, Metagross is just a run of the middle power punch set. Power punch, mad. I power punch. 
I have Power Punch because I can get the plus one on essentially anything if I can pick it off. And also I have plus one in Oko's the Bishop Sharp and Less Chopper Berry. Meteor Mash because he's only Steel Resists. I have Meteor Mash because his Meteor Mash is Stab. Sub to force Sucker Punch Mind Games with the Bishop Sharp. And Grass Dot. For his Gashadon. I think this was a set Sped Shed made. I think he figured Gashadon was going to be his main switch into Metagross. So he said pack Grass Dot because he's going to bring a Fizz Def set and Grass Dot could do big damage if not kill it. Because also, little words to little the wise here Grass Dot gets the Tough Claws boost. I didn't know that until Sped told me. So props to Sped for telling me that. I didn't even think. Like, I was thinking of Grass Dot Metagross, but I didn't even know that it got the, I didn't know it got the Tough Claws boost. So props to Sped for that. And last we got a Fizzef Mantine. Well, actually, no, it's a mirror. It's like it's kind of a mixed defensive Mantine with Mirror Coat. It was meant to nuke his Latios. If, it was meant to nuke like a Calm Mind Latios with Mirror Coat. Potential. I was thinking Wakanda, but decided against decided to go with leftovers. Maybe I should have went Wakanda. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. All right, so let's get right into this game and see how it played out. Immediately, I was thinking I was going to lead Terrakion no matter what. I didn't care what he was going to lead with. Terrakion was my dedicated lead straight out. Terrakion was giving my dedicated lead no matter what. So I figured I was... Because uh, it was kind of a suicide lead. Yeah, it was supposed to be a suicide lead. So I figured I would just lead Ter so Terrakion. So he used Eladios. I was predicting my Terrakion lead exactly, but I really don't care. That he was able to leave with his Latios. Breaking my Terrakion. Because I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go for the rocks here. It really doesn't make a difference if he goes to like a psychic or something. And if he sets up a combine, I could just attack him with a stone edge the next turn and do big damage. Cause he did I don't think he brought hazard removal other than maybe a potential defog on this Latios. So I saw no reason to not go for my rocks here. Yeah, it's gonna take me down to my sash, but so be it. Ooh, the mighty spin F drop. On a 1 HP Terrakion. So I got my, uh, so I got my rocks. Terrakion did its job. So I can just let it go down here. He's going to go for Shadow. He'll probably predict me to go Metagross. But I wasn't going to preserve a 1 HP Terrakion. When your only hazard removal is a Megalodios. Which probably doesn't even have Defog. So I just go into my Lando here. The Scarf is able to force this thing out. Or it doesn't force it out. I'm going to just go for U-turn. And be able to do some big damage to it. Did over half. I did over half. That did way more than I thought. I got a high roll there. So I just go with the Mantine here. Because if he doesn't have, like... He just goes for he just goes with Surf. Because if he doesn't have T... I sat here fire off a Toxic. If he doesn't have the T-Bolt, then I could just nuke him. But I did Toxic there. I am predicting a switch. I knew he wasn't going to go into his Kunk Elder there. So I saw no reason to not go for Toxic. He decided to go harder than his Galvantula. And now over here, this makes me think he's a web set. This makes me think he's possibly a web set. And I really didn't expect him to bring webs. But it's whatever. It's whatever. I, my team doesn't really get affected by webs so much, so I wasn't really concerned. So I just go to Arcanine here. Because I could tank a Thunder. As he does a real sticky webs, that's fine. I'm really not affected by sticky webs that much. Because that Metagross isn't Megad yet. So I just go for a flame. Th he, he switched out the Gavantula. He's gonna go into his Gastrodon here. I just I just decide to click flamethrower. Maybe ex I decide to click flamethrower here. Does it's really my best all around play. I was a special Arcanine, but that's really all I'm gonna reveal about this set. And that and that damage right there makes you think he's fizz max fizz death because that was a resisted hit. So that's definitely a max fizz death Gastrodon. Arcanine is. I switch an Arcanine here and I go into my Serena because I figured I need to spin away these webs now. But he makes a good play here. He makes a good play here and he doubles it back into his Galvantula, predicting my Serena. So that was a great play on his end, but it ultimately does lead to his demise because I decide here to make a stupid play. Well, I'm not sure really it was a stupid play at the time because I was calcing and I saw that I could have let the bug buzz. So I decided to maybe try to spin away the webs here, but the bug buzz does end up killing me. And that made me realize he is a life orb Galvantula. Oh no, webs are now here to stay, but then again, it doesn't really affect me because Metagross is that mega. Speaking of which, here he comes now. Metagross is going to be able to come in here. I'm clear body, so I'm not going to be affected by the webs. 
He switches out here into his Gastrodon. As I am able to Mega Evolve here and go for the Power Punch. Give me, my, give me a free plus one. So now... I was going to go for Power Punch regardless because it killed his Gastrodon. And I out... Not his Gastrodon, because it killed his uh, Galvantula. And I out it anyway. So I go for Power Punch there on the Gastrodon. Now I get the plus one. And he probably thinks he walls me right here. No, sir, you do not wall me. I reveal the Grass Knot... Praying that he kills. Because if he goes for Earth, because then if he was able to get an Earth power off or a skull that didn't want us to burn, luckily the Grass Knight is able to take out this Gastrodon. And now he goes back into his Latios. Shadow Ball doesn't kill me. So Shadow Ball, I count Shadow Ball did not kill me, so I decide to stay in here and risk the Speed Tie. He does win the Speed Tie, so he is going to be able to get Shadow Ball damage on me. Metagross is bulky as hell, though, so I knew he was going to be able to take it. And I go for the Meteor Mash. I didn't have Ice Punch on the set. Be able to take out this Latios. So that's already two kills for Metagross. He goes into Bisharp. And now here's where the Sucker Punch playing games begin. But I am able to win out. But he, he does go for Sucker Punch here, but it fails because I decided to set up a sub. And now right here, I was thinking, I think I just win now. I'm able to go for Power Punch, unless he's chopped all his kills. It does kill. This mod is fucking broken. I don't want to hear shit. This mod is broken. When you get a tough claws boost to a move like power up punch, this is what happens. You're able to just sweep teams like this. Nothing's going to stand a chance now. Metagross is, is going to be able to just sweep his team now. I go for power punch there just so I wouldn't have to risk the meteor mash miss. Because if, if he missed meteor mash and clicked boom burst, I, I died. I did that to preserve diff. I could have went for Meteor Mash there, but if I missed and he Boom Bursted and killed me, then I I lose out on Diff. I did have to preserve Diff. He goes on a Conk here. Medi I have to risk a Meteor Mash here, because Power Punch doesn't kill from his, his range if he's max HP. So I have to go for I have to go for the Meteor Mash here, and that's going to be the game. So GG to... Because his Galvantra dies to rocks. So GG to Equa. It was a hard-fought battle, but unfortunately, Metagross... Well, it's really too powerful being the broken mon that it is. His Galvancho is going to die here, and that's going to be the game. So, good game to you, Equo. That was a fun one. I think we rematch, I think we rematch later in the season. I really want to say we do. So, hopefully... So, ho hopefully we do. Hopefully we do. This was a fun game. I had fun, and then Metagross is a freaking monster. So, Spanic out, and I will see you guys next week. We take on Abe Forth and the Newcastle Umbreons. I think his name is Abe Forth. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of people's names. So, I apologize if I fuck up pronunci pr pronouncing names. I suck with names. So, yeah, Spanic out. I'll see you guys next time when we take on Newcastle Umbreons. GBA D League coach. Ooh. Peace.